Hi there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and I wanted to show just a short uh, unbagging of a Timu package. This came in for my husband Todd and uh, it's just a small little package I wanted to share with you. He actually wanted to share it as well. There are some crafting products here that he wanted to show. So let's get started. There was something extra special in here that he wanted to show as well. So let me just raise you up a little bit. There we go as you all raise me up every time we get to visit. And let's go ahead right here. And there we go. Okay. And, all right. So this first item, I'm gonna set this bag aside. And this first item, uh, I hope you like my nails. I got my nailies done. I did these. You, there's a video out that I put these on. They're holding up very nicely after several days. So I'm very pleased with that. But this first item was actually a gift for me. And it is a beautiful blouse. And I'm just going to unfold it. There we go. It's a beautiful blouse. I can't really, it, trying to show it here on my desk, it does it no justice, but it's a really pretty tunic blouse. It's a short sleeve blouse and it's got like this uh, tie dye look to it. It's really so, so pretty. And it's that silky polyester material, which is very light. And, and during the summer months, I think it's a really nice material to have. And it's got beautiful short sleeves on it, and the sleeves fit really nice, and it really is very long. Um, it, I like longer blouses, so this blouse is perfect for me. So I wanted to show that first. Uh, you will see me wear that on live, uh, on my live. At some point, you're going to see that. So let's go ahead and get started with the rest of this package. So this next item that he got, this actually is a, let me grab my scissors because I think we'll need some help here. All right, so this next item is actually for showing jewelry. It's one of those displays. And uh, my husband makes jewelry, so he wanted me to, and I show the jewelry when I do my lives on Saturday afternoons. Every other Saturday we're on my channel, Debbie is Crafty, and then the following Saturdays we're on Judy's channel, my twin sister, All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. So this is a little display M mannequin type of a thing and it's got two holes for earrings if you want to place earrings in there and you can set a necklace on it and you can even set a bracelet on it let me show you so I happen to have my husband's latest set of jewelry that he made and this is I don't know if this will fit I will try this is my little heartbeat puppy necklace and bracelet set. So this is the bracelet and you can fit it right around there, there. And then the necklace, you can fit right over that way. And then the earrings. I don't know if these earrings will work. These are not stud earrings. Well, I guess we could. No, I don't think we can. No. All right, so he usually uses the lever back earrings. So I won't be able to show the earrings on the display. The display is more for a stud earring, but you get the picture as far as being able to, and I'm going to bring you back down here. Hold on for me, going down. Thank you for your understanding. We will angle you a bit better. There we are. And 
And I'll even bring it in a little bit. Lots of movement going on here. There we go. Okay, so you'll be able to see the beautiful jewelry that he makes now on a display. It's going to be so much easier when I'm showing his uh, jewelry that he makes. So it's really a nice little stand. It's plastic, a nice hard plastic. So it's really pretty. So that is this jewelry display. So we'll move along to the next item. And let's see. So he's got some beads in here. So this package is watermelon tourmaline beads. And I just thought these were really pretty. I actually brought these to his attention. And it's a beautiful mixture of that jade, almost a jade green with that beautiful pink. And when you roll the beads, you can tell, you can see the different colors. Aren't they pretty? And these beads, what size are these beads? They are eight millimeter beads. Nice strand. So that's the watermelon tourmaline beads. And friends, I do also have my own haul that I will be filming and bringing to you very soon as well. So this next set of beads, actually these are garnet beads. Believe it or not. And I said to my husband when I saw them, I said, they don't look like garnet. Garnet looks more red. Well, he did say that if you, and you can see the red in them, it is a very dark red. So, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is a very dark red. So these are actually garnet beads. These, the size on these is four millimeters. So that's that. And you can see that they are red, but they are a very deep, deep red. Really pretty. So I can't wait to see what he does with those. So I'm going to put those back in the bag. This next item is something fun that he got for himself. I wish I had seen it first because I would have bought it for him first, but he got it for himself. And this is a ring. Now this ring, he bought me a ring not too long ago from Timu that opens up and it I call it my ch ch ring <laughs> back in the days when, uh, like in the medieval days, you know, you always hear of these sinister, you know, people and they have a ring full of poison and they'll open it up and they'll ch 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 in it in a drink. Well, he saw this and just for giggles because it was so inexpensive. He said, I found myself a ring just like that. And here's this ring. Isn't that a beautiful tiger design but what's different about this ring friends and i'll bring it in closer no i meant closer that's the opposite there you go so the thing about this ring friends is that when you push the side and i'm trying to figure out which side it is there we go when you push the side it reveals its own little container. Isn't that neat? And then it just goes back together. Isn't that neat? And there's that design again. That beautiful tiger design. Or lion, I'm sorry. So that is what he got for himself, just as a gag, just as a little... It was so inexpensive and just something fun. So he said, hey, people better watch out. Don't get on my bad side. <laughs> so that was, that's his little twist on my ring that he got me. So moving forward, he got himself some of these pre-made jump rings to make jewelry with. Let's 
see, I believe it says five millimeter, but it doesn't say how many came in the kit. Probably about a hundred. Well, maybe not a hundred, maybe fifty. So he got that. And we'll move onward. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yes. He got himself a bracelet. And this is one of those Figaro bracelets. Now, he did take this bracelet out of the package. It's a really pretty golden tone um, bracelet. Isn't that pretty? And it's the Figaro style. Let me just pull you out a little. I'll actually bring it down a little. Hang on. Hold on. We're moving again. There we go. Okay. So this particular style is a Figaro style. And what that means is you have one longer loop and then three smaller links. So one longer link, three smaller links. Now the only problem with this was it was advertised as eight, eight and a quarter inches in length. But unfortunately, it is not. So he's not able to wear it. So either I will wear it or we may send it back. I mean, it's a pretty bracelet. So now I do want to tell you that all of these items, if they are still available, they will be put uh, in the description. And he, along with that, along with the bracelet, he got himself a necklace as well. And this will fit him. Let me just open it up. Okay. Oh, thank you. Which is also the Figaro style. The, th the three smaller links and then the larger link, one larger link. And it's a really nice necklace. I think he said it's like 26 inches in length. So that's a really nice length for him. Isn't that nice? There we go. And it's a really nice necklace. Very shiny. So he got that. So he'll be able to wear that. And I think it's like a gold tone over stainless. So That should last for a bit. Let me just go ahead and pop this back in this bag. And then, like I said, he also got some bits and bobs. Some stuff that's not jewelry related. Let me pull you back a bit. There we go. This item happens to be a cherry pitter. He already knows I'm inheriting this bag because it's a great Ziploc bag. And so interesting little piece of equipment so evidently you put the cherry in there and you give it a little press and the pit goes flying out so he loves fresh cherries and so he actually got himself a package of cherries over the weekend and said that as soon as this came in he was going to try it so I wanted to show that to you so you could wash it up and try it And the next item, he got himself a um, a new water bottle. And he drinks um, like a fiber drink every day during his with his meals. But the you know you can do your best to clean it, and sometimes some of that fiber drink mix will just settle into the corners of the of the bottle, and it makes it hard. To, you know clean it so he got himself this special brush this special cleaner brush that will reach down into the bottle and he can clean the, the bottom of the bottle out and it's a silicone tip so it's you know flexible so that's gonna be a nice little tool to clean the your uh, water bottles if you use like a drink mix in it I like to use a drink mix in my water bottle as well. 
So that'll be a great tool to have for us to clean our water bottles. And we are almost done. I think this is the last item. Yes, and this is diamond painting related. And he actually went ahead and bought himself a new pen. I was so excited when he said that he bought himself a new pen because he's really enjoying diamond painting. And uh, so this just, you know, goes to show that he's never done that craft before. He gave it a shot, a shot, a chance, and he really likes it. Likes it so much that he went and bought himself another pen. So let's go ahead, if I can open this little sucker up. There we go. All right. And of course, with this pen, you get a small baggie of the tips that come with it. And they're just your regular plastic tips with the brass tip, the single placer. You get a couple of multi-placers in there. You get one of those crooked single placers like a two or three I think it's a three placer like a f seven placer and then you get a straightener with it as well a plastic straightener I mean it's nice nice little tools and then you get your pen I actually have some uh, stainless steel tips that he'll be putting into this pen and here's this pen it's a red pen he really likes it I've got one similar to this and it's really very comfortable and he likes the color red so he figured he'd get himself a new pen and I couldn't be happier he really like I said he really enjoys working on his diamond painting so all right friends that is our haul for today Todd's haul and so I will have prices linked in the description if they are if these items are still available they will be linked in the description and I hope that you enjoyed this little mini haul my hot toddies Timu haul today until I see you all again first of all I want to thank you so much for subscribing if you're not yet subscribed please consider doing so uh, please remember to hit that like button it really does make a difference with the algorithm here on YouTube I am a small crafty fish in a great big crafty pond so any uh, any help that I could get from you all is always greatly appreciated please friends take care of yourselves Watch out for one another, your friends, family, neighbors. Please be the voice for those animals who don't have them. And until I get to see you again, thank you so much again. Take care. Have a great day. Goodbye now.